Alrighty, the hard drive is set, is held in place by four screws, two on the top here and two on the side here, okay? So you're gonna go ahead and take out these two screws on the top. I'm gonna put that here. Try to keep your um, all these screws and stuff organized so that way you don't you don't have a problem you don't lose them okay and then we take out the two on the side here which you're gonna see on the side of the machine on the side of the drive actually once you take these two out then the drive will be loose to be able to be removed so now we have it ready to go what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop this this way we're gonna move it forward actually backwards I'm sorry, I apologize move it backwards and it comes loose so we got ourselves here, the 120 gig drive that comes with the machine. Uh, in this particular case, this is if you buy a new one, that's what you're gonna get here. This particular one is an 80 gig drive, okay? That comes in this one. Like I said, I bought this one a week uh, before the new model came out, so it has still the older specs. But the only real, real thing they changed on the new one is some of the ports in the back, uh, and also that they added, um, you know, the uh, 120 gig drive, but you still have one gig of RAM. Uh, the machine should look the same pretty much inside so you'll be able to make the same uh, adjustments. So we're going to go ahead and uh, it comes with this little thing here. You can take this off and put it on the other one if you want. You know, if you want to keep it so that it, it's all nice and uniform the same way. So we can go ahead and peel this off. It's just like a little sticker. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put that on here also. Alrighty, so I have the same situation here, set up same way. Now we're gonna pop this drive in here. When you're gonna pop it into the machine, okay, be very careful with this cable in the back that it doesn't come out. And the drive, you just gotta stick it in here and you're gonna see it has the ports in it so that it, it pops in. So we're gonna put this in place. There we go. And then pop it in there. There we go. All right, so once you have the drive popped in here, this is ready to go. So we can close this off already after you put the screws in. So go ahead and put back the four screws again on the machine. They go on the top. The two on the top here, and then the two on the side, okay? So make sure you put that back in there. Don't over tighten the screws, that I recommend. Just, you know, gently just put it in there so the way it goes, and when you feel it, it's tight, then you're good to go. So go ahead and put that. All right, so now we have all four screws in place. Okay, so the Mac Mini now has four gigs of RAM, a 7200 RPM, 320 gigabyte hard drive. So we're ready to close this thing back up. So gently, like I said before, make sure the cable doesn't come loose. Hold the uh, antenna, the airport antenna, make sure it goes around here on the, on the back so it's not tiny, um, you know, stuck with anything. And then gently put this back in place. It'll sit back in the machine, so just go ahead and you can move it around. Take your time till you feel that it's actually already sitting in the machine correctly. So then we can put the screws back in place. All right, once you have the machine sitting here, and now it's time to put all these screws back again, the screws right here, put them back in the machine. And remember, on the front here, on this side, is where the long screw will go, okay? So the longest screw of all is gonna go right in the front here. So we're ready to go. And remember that you also have this cable in the front that you gotta pop in. So I recommend that the first thing you do is pop in that cable so that way you don't have to worry about it. You know, and that's one thing that's out of your way. So you can grab this cable, pop it in. For me, it's actually easy to do with my hand and with the little screwdriver, I can just pop it right in there. But once you put the cable back, you're good to go. And uh, now you can do the rest and you won't have any problems. Remember, you gotta put all this back and once you put all the four screws, then the machine's ready. I recommend you don't close it yet after you do this, because you want to plug it in and see if it's working. Once you plug it in and it works, then you can come back and uh, you know close it up.
All right, so now all you need to do is put back the antenna once you put all the four screws. And uh, just go ahead and put the spring right in its place again. All right, just hold it there. And then you can pop in the antenna right in its place. There we go. So it's nice and popped in. So we're good to go. I already tested this machine. So this machine's ready to go. So I can actually close it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in place here and turn it around where the back is facing that way. Put it on here gently. There we go. Alrighty, so now we finished the upgrades on the machine. So we were able to put everything in there and that we were able to put the 320 gigabyte 7200 RPM hard drive, which will give you a lot more room and a faster drive on the machine better than what uh, you could get with the factory settings from Apple so you better you actually upgraded a machine a lot better and it just takes a little time to do it and we have the four gigs of RAM on the machine thank you and I appreciate you watching all of my videos and I hope this video helped you out to upgrade your Mac mini I also wanted to mention that the old Mac mini which is the one I show you in the video has a 10 100 1000 Ethernet port a 400 Firewire port a DVI port and four USB ports. The new one, the new model has a one gigabit ethernet, it has a Firewire 800 port, a mini DVI port, a mini display port, and five USB ports. So the new one has a lot better uh, parts and also a better video graphics card inside.